Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper, where it is day 246, guys. We only have like 120 days before the end of the series. Yeah, I know, right? It's coming up there. So that's that, you know, but that's four months. That's four months in game. That's plenty of time. It's a lot of time. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to eat a cattail here. Only nine cattails left. All right, we're out of we're out of food, guys. I'm 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 eat, I'm chewing on sticks right now. I'm chewing on on the in not sticks, but the inside of the cattail stock. What that is. If you guys have never had cattail, it's actually pretty good. It tastes like, kind of like a bamboo shoot a little bit. So yeah, so we're gonna go, and I'm gonna go out back. And we're gonna get this wolf, maybe a couple rabbits, but we're gonna take care of the wolf first. So, and because I can have food for the next couple of days, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. Get my gear as uh, as repaired as I can. And then we're either going to the Muskeg or we're going to Coastal Highway. Because I'm going to need another knife and I'm going to need another hatchet. Because I'm out of... We're at the point now where we're out of whetstones. We have no more whetstones. I can't sharpen anything anymore. Which means once it's wore out, I have to, I have to make it from scratch. And I'm not going without a knife and I'm not going without a hatchet. We're gonna, we're, we have to have those items. So, yeah. All right, well, it's not windy, so and it's not snowing, so I guess we're all right. Let's go ahead and let's... Do I have any firewood on me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, we're good. I've got six sticks, and I've got four reclaimed wood. That's enough for a fire. I just... I'm going to have to use a match. Can't be helped. When we, start, when we run out of matches, though, that's where it's going to get really interesting, because... That's where we don't have, you know, and we're going to have to wait till it gets sunny. It means I have to truly prepare. Like, really think ahead. All right. Where's that wolf at? I don't hear him. I don't see him. Where is he? Those are wolf tracks, guys. He's on the trail. Hang on. He's on the trail here. Go ahead and start a fire right here. Aha! There he is. I saw his tracks. I knew he was there. Game tried to trick me again. The game is throwing the wolves at me now. The game's like, you know what? We're going to... We're going to trick you right now. <laughs> you know what? No, you're not going to trick me. All right. Go ahead and crouch down. I don't have a piece of meat to distract him either. Wait until he gets close. That's about as close as he's going to get. I hit him. I hit him. And here he comes. Now he's running. All right, we have a little time. He's bleeding. Missed him. Come on, buddy. Really? He's got a he's got an arrow in his butt. He's bleeding. He'll get he'll die. I don't want to damage any my arrows any more than I just have. Uh, can we go back up this way? Can I get my arrows back? Do I not get any of my arrows back? Oh, there they are. Oh, can I not get to them? There we are. Um, I could have sworn there was another one over here. They get bounced off. Yeah. We'll go down here. I'll go hunt some... Uh, oh, you know what? Mm, I really wanted that fire that fire for... I wanted that fire for, for cooking meat. I really need to hunt him down and finish him off. Where is he? There he is. Come here, big boy. I still lost an arrow somewhere. Hopefully it'll pop up. Maybe it'll come out of the ground. Oh, I need another I need another cattail. I gotta hurry before that fire goes out. I could go back you know, I, you know maybe I'll go back and put some more wood on the fire. Because if I don't, then we're gonna, then it'll go out, 
And if it goes out, I'm not gonna put it. I'm not gonna waste a match. That would be a waste of a match. Just lack of preparation. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Just run up here right quick. You know, the second bear coat doesn't have, like, it's not too bad. I mean, compared to the rest of the gear that I've had in the past. You know what I mean? For, like, a long time. It's not bad at all. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Oh, six minutes, dude. I'm so glad I did that. We'll do, we'll do an hour and a half. That's better. I'm gonna take a little. Actually, no, no, it's still it's still day. I mean day. It's still day. It's still like noon ish, like right before noon. So that's cool. We're gonna pull our bow back out. I think I hear him. I just want to hurt him. He's gonna slice off a steak so I don't starve to death. I don't want to lose my bonus, man. That really is eating up a lot of. A lot of calories, you know what I mean? Like, I'm eating a lot more calories than I need to. That is running around over here. Where is he? Where'd he go? I don't see a blood trail or anything. Where is he? Maybe he's back over here. Huh. I've never been so hungry in my life. Yeah, I know, dude. You are just like killing me with the hunger thing. These are the last of my cattails. Completely last of my cattails, too. Uh, I see the rose hips. We should grab those. I'm going to put this bow away. I don't need it right now. Okay. Well, I don't see his. I don't see his paw prints, and I don't see a blood trail. So I don't. He's not over here. I don't think. Where in the heck did he go? I was just up there for a second. It's not like he could go very far. I did go down the shortcut, though, so maybe he went back up to where he was. His paw prints are not even, they're not fresh anymore. They're kind of, they're kind of, like, starting to go away. He's not here. Let's, um, let's go up here right quick. I can. There we go. There we go. All right. We have meat here. Maybe I'll just get this meat. Oh, I'll just get this meat here. Let me um, meet one more cattail. After I cook this deer steak, we'll... Uh, 37 minutes? Yeah, that'd be fine. That'll be fine. I'm going to use the knife anyway. And then we'll go cook this steak up, and then we'll go we'll go track down that wolf. That's the smarter move. All right. Yeah, we still have an hour left, so we're good. Go ahead and cook up that steak. And how long? 11 minutes, that's great. Perfect. And then this one. 40 minutes. All right, good. Eat that. There we go. That's helpful. And then I'll slap on a, a water. We'll do a water. And then that's going to be 29 minutes already. We're just going to do that. Eat that. All right, that's going to carry us through. I'll leave this water on to boil. i got 13 minutes till it's melted. 
And we've got another 48 minutes. I'm going to add one more reclaimed wood on this. I'm going to want to come back and cook some more wolf. Actually, let me add both of those because I'm going to want to go. I'm going to want to come back and, and cook that. And we'll do, we'll do this. We'll call it three hours. Three hours. It's good. Dirt and snow. He's got to be back there with the rabbits. He has to be. Only thing I can think of. Unless he just went into the, the side of the dam and glitched inside of it. It's the only thing I could think of. That's where I saw him last. Let me, let me poke my head over here right quick on this side. I thought that was him. Uh -huh. I can climb up this? Oh, no. You can't. Okay. Uh, okay, so he's not here. And we'll lose, we're going to lose probably half our condition by the time I'm done with this today, but it's all right. Where is he? We got to go up this trail. I don't think I've ever seen him go that far back, though. All the way back to the cave. Unless he's chasing you. But he will come up this path. But I don't see any footprints. Like, none. The fireplace. Uh-uh. Where'd he go? He's a ghost wolf, man. Not here. He has to be back there. Well, I hate for this to be just a, a ghost wolf video, but it might be a ghost wolf video if I can't find him. He got pegged in the butt, and he was bleeding, and he will, he, he will have died. And I have spent enough time in the campfire cooking stuff that whatever, however long it was going to take for him to die, he's, he's already dead, this guy. Got to find him. Normally, I'd, I'd wait for the crows, but I don't want to have to wait for the crows. Maybe I'll get a couple of rabbits. I don't see any rabbits either. Like none. I don't think he'd come in here to die. No. That's empty. Huh. So wacky. So wacky weird. For that to be like that. I don't understand. So cold in my life. Oh, I never felt so cold in my life. Um, <laughs> where is he? There's no way he's all the way back here. No way. I think he glitched into the dam. That's what I think happened. We'll go back. We'll check the dam. I'm going to go all the way to the cave. It's the only thing I can think of. I mean, but there's no blood trail. He didn't come back this far. They never come back this far. Ever. 100%. Yeah. There's no way. But the rabbits are gone, and that makes me, that makes me uh, wonder. Yeah, there's no tracks. There's no blood. It was only 30 minutes. Yeah, no, he's not here. Right, we're gonna, we'll head back. We'll see what's up. Now, if he respawns alive, then I guess I'll just have to put another arrow in him. But I've never had this happen to him before. It's really weird. If you've had this happen to you before, tell me in the comment section. Because I'd, I'd like an explanation. 
super weird. On the other side of this rock? No, no, no. I was hoping by going away and coming back that he would have, like, popped out of the dam. Like, sometimes an arrow will pop up out of the ground once you, like, turn away or whatever. And animals are known to appear when you turn, when you turn your head, so... I'll go over here one more time. Oh, I know. I bet you he's up on that uh, up on that rock up there. I've had that wolf up on that rock before. I bet you that's where he's at. If he doubled back, well, how can you double back though? While I was cooking, I mean maybe. There he is. There he is. Little silly bastard. <laughs> You little furry bugger, come here. All right, let me go. I'm just gonna grab his. Just gonna grab the meat. 25 minutes. I hope I have enough time still. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother with his guts. We're gonna come back for his guts if I need him. There we go. I got nine pounds of meat. That's fine. That's four steaks. That'll be enough. Hopefully the wind's not gonna kick up too much. I need to. I need to use a torch. I'm gonna carry a torch inside, and then we're gonna. See about starting a fire inside. I'm not overburdened. What's going on? Go drink some water. All right. I didn't realize those were the sh there, there were those sheets of ice where he could hide behind there. It's good to know for later. Oh yeah, I'm tired. And I'm not going to drink my coffee just yet. I still I have coffee. I've had cold cups of coffee in my inventory for a minute, like for a couple of months now. And I don't want to drink them unless I'm like it's an emergency. Like I need to get up a rope and now, or I need that little sprint like right now, right now. You know what I mean? Don't want to use them unless I have to. This is what this is the last of the last as far as the do or die situation. It's like I'm running out of stuff and. Oh, yeah, the fire went out. <laughs> that fire went out. Okay, well, I'll have to use another match. Can't really be helped. Unless I can stay... Is that done? It's boiled water? Thank goodness. I'll take it. I'll take this, too. Cool. All right, now we're overburdened. I'm going to take that, and we're going to turn it into a stick. All right, campfires, campfires everywhere. I'll get these sticks. Thank you very much. It's the spawn. There's always spawn there. Great. All right. Hopefully we'll have enough um, calories that we can repair some of our gear before I have to go back out and hunt again. We're really close to needing to be able to, to, be able to hunt again. So. But we didn't lose our bonus, and that was the important thing. Or is it? I mean, do I really need my bonus? Probably. An extra 10 pounds, man. Ooh. This always gives me the heebie-jeebies when I walk, walk, walk that dam. I do not like walking that dam. I'm always afraid I'm going to fall. All right. Up we go. And you can't get in there, right? No. Cut. I just got hypothermia. Are you kidding me? How did I get hypothermia? In the bear jackets, no less. All right. Well, we have hypothermia. Your body temperature has been low for too long. You will weak, it will weaken unless you stay above freezing for 24 hours. Remain above freezing for 24 hours. Fine. That's the first hypothermia we've gotten of the season, guys. I have five steaks. Each one is, uh, well, let's see, that's 800. That's 800. That's 800, and so is that one. So, um, not enough. It's about two days worth of food if I keep my condition bonus. If I don't, 
and we let it lapse, then I've got a little bit less time. A little bit more time. Nothing at microwave, okay. Hypothermia. First time hypothermia. Hunting a ghost wolf. <laughs> Was he worth it? No. If I came back with, with uh, some rabbits, would it have been worth it? Probably. But as of right now, it wasn't worth it. We have some time now, too. I think I might... Let's bust this down. 12 minutes. We'll break down some planks so I have some time to cook some more food. Something's making me feel really tired. Something's making me feel really tired. You know what? I've got this cloth here, too. I didn't know. I forgot about that. We actually should go and grab all this cloth. Yeah, we should do that. 100%. I might be able to fix everything on my person. Except for the bear skin. That's the only thing. But no, we're not even, not even, not even going to attempt it until I, I can... Fix my bear jacket. And by that time, I might need two. I may need to fix both my bear jackets. So I may have to kill both bears. So I am going to have to go to Coastal Highway. There's no doubt about it. I could do it. I don't. Does Muskag have one or two bears? I think it's only one. I think I've only ever seen one at a time. But Coastal Highway has three. At least three that I know of. So, yeah. Because you've got Bear Creek Campground. You've got the uh, the bear that's on the lake, and you've got a bear that, that shows up over at the Quonset Hut. There might be a fourth one. I don't know. All right. Hypothermia, man. Thank God it's not frostbite. Frostbite, if you catch it, will drop your, your health by 10% permanently. Each time you get it. Like, you cannot get that back. Because, like, part of your bodies have fallen off. Turned black and fallen off. Fall, falled off? Fallen off. All right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to drop my bear skin. You know what? No, I'm not. We're not going to use it because I don't need it. We're going to go up. We're going to grab the other one and bring it down here. I'm going to switch them out. Do I have it on me? My bear skin bedroll? I don't have it on me. Really? And I'm this heavy? Yeah, weight management is definitely becoming a thing. You would think, as long as I've survived an interloper, my my man would... Uh, my man. He's my man. My man would be stronger than he was when we started. Then again, lack of vitamins will, will, will tear you down. So maybe we just call it even. Even Steven. All you're doing is eating meat. You got a problem. I guarantee you got a problem. Or you will have you'll have physical problems. Alright, so we're gonna grab this. And we're gonna take it downstairs. And we're gonna cook some meat. Get us through the night. That's done, that's done, that's done. We're coming back up here tomorrow and we're gonna fix all this stuff. Okay, I just got quiet there for a second. I apologize. <laughs> I was thinking about stuff, thinking about my, my, my game plan and working it out in my head. All right, so we're going to go and use another match. We have to. Let's put down our bedroll right quick. What is it at? Hang on. What is it at? 33%. Ooh. We have to use a piece of cloth on that thing, I think. All right, let's start this up. Let's go pink. A match with a stick. Start it up. I should have to get you know a couple steaks done. We'll cook. I have plenty of water, so we'll cook the uh, meat first. Come on. Come on. Add fuel. Do all of it. Whatever I can cook with this is fine. We'll start with four and a half hours. I might be able to do it all. Because I can do two at a time.
47 minutes. So we're talking, yeah, dude, I've got plenty of time. I only have five steaks. One of them's a small one. Go ahead and just do this, and there we go. Pick that up. All I can think about is food. All I can think about is food. Okay, and two more. I think that's a short one. Yeah, 10 minutes. No, pick that up. Oh, man, I got to eat. All right, we're going to do this twice. It might take me almost the soul wolf to fill up, which is lame because let's be honest with ourselves. If I if I kill a wolf, like I've eaten, I've eaten like raccoon. I've eaten fox in my life, um, in real life. So I know how much meat around those animals. And a, a wolf is a lot bigger. Even though it's lean, but a lot bigger than a fox or a bobcat. And I guarantee you, a, a, a fox, I've eaten fox, I've eaten bobcat, I've eaten, I've eaten raccoon. So, and I guarantee you, a wolf is bigger. And I'm going to get more than one meal, and one, 24 hours worth of calories out of one wolf. Like, if I, if I had to eat a dog, you know, end of the world type thing, would I eat a dog out to survive? Yes, I would, 100%. Would I eat people? That's a conversation for another day. That's a really long conversation for another day. All right, so let's go with... Pick that up. And... Pick that up. I still have two hours. i got plenty of time. We're going to do some water. And now it's plenty of night time, so we're going to pick this up. We're done. Even though I, I have enough time for another a batch of water, we're not going to do it. We're going to bed. I'm dehydrated. Drink water. There we go. All right, nine hours, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? I think that's where we're going to leave it because I, I, I do, it just took me forever to get, get that wolf taken care of today. But we are going to clean or, – oh, cabin fever risk, along with hypothermia. <laughs> Of course it is. We have to go to the cave again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything I'm going to need to take care of my clothes. And then we're going to go and we're going to fix them all while I bring that cabin fever risk down. And we take care of the rest of our hypothermia because we have to manage ourselves now a little bit better. I guess now that I have two bear coats, the game goes, okay, let's throw this at you. Really, how long have I been out in the weather? Like for longer, longer, way longer periods of time, never caught hypothermia. And then all of a sudden, the game goes, oh, yeah, you know what? We're going to give you hypothermia. That's really odd. Tell me what you think in the comment section, guys. I'm really curious to, 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 to know what you, what you think. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming in. I truly appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.